It is my desire to use my knowledge to solve the problems faced by the society. As chemists, we would like to understand nature in terms of molecular interactions. Our understanding about brain is only at elementary level. So it will be revolutionary to bring our understanding of memory down to the level of molecules because the chemistry inside cells is complicated but exciting. I would like to learn more about nature through my own original experiments, so I choose to do research. During my exchange semester at University of Waterloo, I made up my mind towards pursuing a PhD degree. I found there that the fluorescence imaging technique is a powerful technique because it enables us to visualize complex implicit processes in an explicit manner. I composed a short literature review and delivered a poster presentation on fluorescent proteins. This gave me confidence towards pursuing a PhD degree, and the professors there inspired me with their passion and self-discipline. They encouraged me to become a leader of original research, and a PhD degree is exactly what I need. Eventually, I received two offers from Cornell University and University of Oxford. Both are Doctor of Philosophy degrees, but the first one is in chemical biology, while the second one is in inorganic chemistry. It is difficult to compare them based on their big names, so I went for a campus visit as invited by Cornell University. I saw there that the atmosphere among the whole department between students, staff and faculty members are very supportive and I saw there are biologically significant problems to be solved. I believe I can develop fully at Cornell University and thus I made my choice. The chemical technology program has helped me to become a qualified candidate for a PhD degree. This includes essential knowledge of chemistry ranging from aspects of biological, physical, to organic chemistry, etc. I have also gathered research skills and insights from Professor Kwong and Dr. Gale Law's research group. For example, the excitation and emission spectra may be recorded by anyone, but not many can interpret the spectra and get the underlying essence. I have also get access to a complete set of research instruments. This includes nuclear magnetic resonance spectrometer, mass spectrometer, and fluorescent spectrophotometer. I was also trained to gain professional attitudes towards scientific research. For example, I have learned how to synthesize a mature conclusion from limited data and time. And finally, I, I have also got timely career advice from all these kind-hearted and talented professors. 